going to be working with colons and semicolons, so I want to just start by really talking about these punctuations before we jump into the different bubbles. So a semicolon, as you can kind of see on this little sticky note I have here, is the one that's got a dot and then a comma underneath it. Now, semicolons are used to connect clauses that relate to each other. That relating word is really key. So, for instance, I have the sentence, I like cats, my sister likes dogs. These are both two complete thoughts. So we've got subjects and verbs on either side, as well as the direct objects. Now, these sentences relate to each other because I'm also comparing and contrasting my sister and myself. So it makes sense for me to use this semicolon here because these ideas relate to each other. The fact that I like this and Abby likes this relate to to each other, they're linked up in that comparison sake. A colon, or the ones that are two dots on top of each other, are used when one clause explains the other. So for instance, I have a great idea, that's a complete sentence, let's get another pet, that's a complete sentence. The let's get another pet explains what the great idea is. So that's the main key between differentiating these. Semicolons are for things that relate. Colons are for things that explain. So let's go through and work on this first bubble. It's going to have us start by just determining if we have complete thoughts or incomplete thoughts. Now you want to make sure that you are reading the directions because these do change. So on this one we're trying to figure out do we have one complete thought or two complete thoughts. So let's start. Barney Stinson's new puppy won't stop chasing pigeons. This is a complete thought. We have our subject, Barney Stinson's new puppy. We have our verb, won't stop. And what won't we stop? Chasing pigeons. Then we have, in contrast, my kitten hasn't left its bed in hours. My kitten, subject, verb, hasn't left, what hasn't it left? Its bed in hours. So this represents two complete thoughts. We could have either of those pieces of yellow stand alone and they would make sense. Dwight Schrute, above all, is a very honest person. If I say Dwight Schrute, I do not have a complete thought. We don't know what Dwight's doing is a very honest person, is also incomplete. But if we put them together, Dwight Schrute is a very honest person, we do have a complete thought because we have our subject, our verb. Rafiki didn't need my help with the puzzle. This is a complete thought, subject, verb. Hamish Abernathy was late to the concert because the traffic was terrible. If we just read because the traffic was terrible, we don't know what happened, what was because of this. So this one's an incomplete thought. Oliver Wood, meanwhile, guarded our six-foot Jenga tower. And you can kind of see for yourself, we've got our one complete. You'll start noticing patterns with the punctuation. He won first place is a complete thought. So you can skip me ahead a little bit if you like, but I'll answer a few more on screen if you're struggling with these. Now again, since Nala built a giant straw, you can see on this one we don't know what is since. So that's another incomplete for us. Here we've got a complete, if we combine those two together, we have an interrupter. Here you'll see we've got two complete thoughts. These relate to each other, so they've got that semicolon. We don't know what happened because the supermarket was closed, so that one's incomplete. And this one is complete. So now let's take a look at that next bubble. So what we're going to be doing on this one is figuring out how to use those colons and those semicolons. So here I have, I thought of an interesting idea. Give Peter Pettigrew so many bananas that he gets sick of them. First we have to figure out, do we have one complete, two complete, and where are they? So here we have two. I thought of an interesting idea. Give Peter Pettigrew so many bananas that he gets sick of them. Now, we know we've got two complete thoughts, so we have to figure out, are they ex is the second one explaining, or do these two things relate? Now, we have this little key here. I have an interesting idea. The second part here is what the idea is. So these are explaining, so we want to use that colon. 
The movie drew large crowds on opening night. Complete sentence. It also received a positive review from President Snow. That's also a complete sentence. So right now, the way they have it structured is one of our comma splices, where we've got a wimpy piece of punctuation here. Now, we have to again decide, do they explain or relate? On this one, they're relating, so we're going to use a semicolon. Some soccer scouts had been following Ryan Howard since high school. Others saw him for the first time on TV. Here we have a few sentence or a run-on. We can see that we've got two sentences. Um, they are joined right here. We have two complete thoughts. So these are, again, ones that relate. We want to use that semicolon because it's not explaining. Here's my point. The dinosaur costume might be too big for Treebeard. We have two different complete thoughts, but this explains what the point is, so we want to use a colon. I hope that was helpful for you. As always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out.